you made a suggestion this afternoon about uh, a couple living on Skid Row. Yes. Okay, a couple living on Skid Row. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did they do? And how did they do it? And, uh, how do you paint a picture of people living on Skid Row who are doing a little bit more than just simply uh, smoking dope, shooting dope, smoking dope, shooting dope, whatever it is, drinking dope, whatever it is. It's more of a life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for whatever reasons, these people find themselves in that position. We use in St. Julian. We've been up and down Fifth Avenue, Fifth and St. Julian for a long time, mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. And everybody there can't be put in the same box. The story that you that's see, an that's an important yeah, fact, yeah, okay, yeah. you no, know. You can't box people off. Yeah, you do a broad There's so many different yeah. circumstances that mm -hmm. find them there that if you don't think <laughs> that you could have been there yes. or that you could be there, then you are dreaming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the story that I came up with as the first draft outline mm -hmm. has to do with a couple Without telling. Men who, who wind up finding themselves there. Mm -hmm. It could be older than Zola. Yeah, yeah. But I guarantee you, if we wind up there, we'd make money. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Because we'd be doing something. Thank you. But for the grace of God. But yes. for the grace of God, it winds up being mm -hmm. Sylvester and Marlene. Mm -hmm. I love the way you come up with these characters. Why did you pick Sylvester and Marlene? Why those names? I don't know. Okay. Uh... Sylvester sounds like uh, somebody who is Sylvester, mm -hmm. and Marlene sounds like somebody who's Marlene. Okay. What do they look like? Marlene looks pretty much like Marlene, <laughs> and Sylvester uh, looks like Did you do a character sketch? I did, okay. in my mind. Okay. And your point is well taken. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you write uh, things off the cuff, mm -hmm. they don't have to have that fully developed three-dimensional psycho, socio, physio. Uh, you can just visualize them mm -hmm. so that whoever's reading the story or being introduced to the story can form their own conclusions about how he looked and so forth and so on. Well, I love the way, you know, you took an idea that I gave you while driving, came home, and within an hour, maybe an hour and a half, did a first draft. Yeah, okay, but uh, uh, I don't think that's a credit to any particular kind of genius. Mm -hmm. I think it has to do with practice, mm -hmm. and uh, practice and practice. Okay. You know, so that, mm -hmm. uh, if the idea, once again, we come down to, if the idea is valid, and I think we're talking about something deep mm -hmm. that I may not be qualified as the most qualified person to explain it. All I know is that when you hear it and it's authentic, mm -hmm. then that's worth pursuing. Right. If it's not authentic, it's just bullshit. So you may as well just skip past it. Uh, on the on the African American level, mm -hmm. there's so many authentic stories that haven't been told that. You know, you, you just in the end of, I could be 129,000 years old mm -hmm. in America and still not approach. For example, the couple, mm -hmm. Sylvester and Marlene, are in on Skid Row through no fault of their own, or maybe it is through fault of their own, mm -hmm. but they're still together. He calls her baby and she calls him sweet thing or mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. And they're in love and they're suffering through whatever they're suffering through. Mm -hmm. uh, if a good idea shows up, which is what Marlene comes up with, which is renting their tent out to love, love-stricken couples mm -hmm. who want to make love, not on the sidewalk, on a on a uh, piece of cardboard in the middle of the night, but they'd like to have advantage of this wonderful mattress that we're sleeping on, mm -hmm. that we paid a lot of money for, mm -hmm. which the dope fiends sold to them, mm -hmm. and they discovered that they could money, make money off it. It mm -hmm. was Marlene's idea, but uh, Sylvester saw the validity of it, and as they say, 
acquiesced. <laughs> so uh, there is nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. Just it's, another point of view. Another point of view. Mm -hmm. Very well put. Mm -hmm. Another point of view. So, you know, we... So you're going to tell me that James Baldwin and uh, Richard Wright didn't write it all? They didn't touch it. Gotcha. They, right. did, they didn't touch it. And I love both of them. Yes. I especially love James Baldwin. All right. I especially love James Baldwin. And... He was irate <laughs> and, and full of energy and stopping whenever you feel like I need to be stopped. But I'm going well, to say to you. All right. Oh. Mr. Odie Hawkins, I truly love your books, and I love your point of view. And I love your point of view, too. <laughs>